Ryan Sungli of Ring Magazine here with Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Jarrell, you just uh, uh, defeated Marius Fock, who's the most uh, experienced opponent uh, that you face as a professional. Mm -hmm. I heard you say that you gave yourself an F. Why did you give yourself an F? Because a lot of things I trained in training camp didn't come out tonight. Um, but I knew it was going to be a tough fight from the beginning. And I told people, I'm like, listen, I don't care how it looks. The thing is getting a win, and I want a stoppage. Um, I got to stop it before Pavekin did. I got to stop it that Van Kishko couldn't do. And like I said, um, I still had fun, um, and the body was even 100%. You know, but like I said, you know, this is boxing, and you have good days, you have bad days, and um, you know, take a slap, you win over a good loss. Mm -hmm. You said that you're, you're, um, you had an elbow injury in training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had it from one of the last fight. It kind of started, and um, I went back to hitting lift heavy weights. But when I started punching, I think it's overworked it. You know, and uh, we didn't do no push-ups. We didn't do really too much, any, no kind of really calisthenics other than sit-ups. And um, just hitting the bag, man. And uh, it, it started really killing me in the last two weeks. And I tried to just ice it and just work the inflammation down. But like I said, it's part of boxing, man. You're going to go through these kind of things. we got to go back to the drawing board and uh, fix them. Mm -hmm. uh, I also overheard you say um, that you felt more comfortable at when you were in your uh, about 15 pounds heavier. Yeah. Um, tell me about that. Uh, what was wrong with the, the weight? Yeah, I was just a lot stronger. I felt a lot stronger. And the minute I touched people, I, I had my hand go, uh, uh. All my sparring partners was like, they didn't even want to come back for sparring. You know, if I was 296, I definitely would have been hitting them with harder shots and definitely moving them. You know, but like I said, it's part of the game. And uh, we go back to drawing board and we're going to fix it. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about, because uh, also I remember we were talking about, like, you know, you get that question a lot about the weight. Um, did you feel that, like, uh, you were a bit pressured to try and, 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 and appease what people wanted uh, you to weigh at? Yeah, most definitely. Definitely. I said, weight has never been a problem for me. I lose weight when I feel like every fight is different. And I did this kind of lose weight for the media. But I want the media to see, like, sometimes weight don't mean nothing. I think I did a lot better at 296. But like I said before, I'm not going to go back and shoot up and weight right away. I'm going to stay at this level and let my body adjust. My, my cousin and conditioning coach, Jamal, always say sometimes, like, you got to let your body adjust to the weights. We're going to stay here for a while and then kind of just hit the weights and see how my body feels with it this weight. And then uh, we'll take it from there. It looked like Vok was able to keep up for a couple rounds, even though yeah. you were bringing a lot of uh, pressure with him. But he was landing some right hands. How, tell me about uh, what the challenge was. How was this challenge to you? Um, was he uh, stinging you with any of those punches? I mean, it, it stung, but it didn't really hurt me enough. As I kind of walked forward a little bit, I was trying to like counter counter him with the with, off like a shoulder when I shoot, shoot the right hand. But like I said, everything just felt a little slower than usual. I didn't have the snap that I really wanted. Um, the footwork just felt a little more lackadaisic. Um, I think I definitely kind of overtrained with the cardio a little bit for this fight. But uh, it's part of the game, man. It's part of the game. After uh, tonight, um, you know, how do you? Uh, where do you see yourself uh, going next? Uh, are, are you? Are you? Do you want to jump into a title fight, or do you want to get a couple if, more rounds? If they give me the right fight for a title fight, title fight at the right time with enough time training, I'll take it. I have no problem taking it. You know, what I mean, it's, it's business. But like I said, both of the right amount of effort, so they feel like I'm gonna be off the title night fight. But listen, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay the best way I can, and this is be ready. Mm -hmm. Like um, Joshua Wilder Parker, what do you thinking? Um, any one of them. Any damn one of them that want this work, we're going to be ready for it. Any one of them, we're ready for it. So I don't care who it is, man. So like I said before, we know the big money fights Deontay and AJ right now. So just a poker, man, step up. Mm -hmm. Fight for somebody. You know, Dillian White actually is now uh, getting in the mix. He's uh, the number one uh, contender with the WBC. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that would be a fight that would appeal to you? Yeah, most definitely. Most, I think that's the next best fight for me out there. And I'm fighting top guys nobody wanted to fight. So we'll be ready. We'll be damn ready. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to ask you something because, like, um, we, you know, we were talking about making weight uh, or, or, or cutting weight. You had a nutritionist for this camp, correct, right? Correct, correct. Uh, well, tell me what that was like. Was that a different experience for you? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I've always ate clean before fights a lot, but uh, I think maybe eating clean definitely helped me bring the weight down. But I felt like uh, the strength wasn't there that way I wanted to. So, like I said, you know, it's a, it's a, it's sometimes you got you try new things that you see your body feel. So, we're definitely gonna figure out things. Instead of going back to the board and tweak it, um, I'm always improving, always getting better. And I stopped the guy that never stopped this early. I gotta ask you the last question. Uh, you know, um, you know, you you were you were disciplined. You lost your weight, uh, but now the media is not gonna be following you afterwards. Uh, where are you gonna eat? What are you uh, looking forward to eating? Um, I really don't know right now, man. I'm from Belize, so maybe my mother-in-law might cook me my favorite dish, which is called sabutes. You know, so maybe I eat some Spanish food, some Belizean food, and just relax, man. The burger will come. But I don't believe really for nothing, for nothing really heavy right now at this point, you know. <laughs> That's interesting analysis of uh, of what you're interested in eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. So now you want a home cooked meal, bro? Cheeseburger right. will come during the week. I ain't worried about it. There we go. Congratulations again. Thanks, man. Appreciate